You said you played Zelda, right? Yeah, it's been a while though. Which one did you play? Was it like was it like one of the, like, the handhold? Oh, things? of course. You know the little gray with the two red buttons and the yeah. plus. Yeah, it's crazy. The same ones you can get on your phone now. Yeah. Um, do you know what the Triforce is? No. So it's like those three triangles. You can just pop it right there. Um, but essentially, like in Hyrule, it's like the person who holds the Triforce basically has like the power of the gods, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so they're, each of those triangles represent a piece of the Triforce. Um, so there's like the Triforce of power, the Triforce of wisdom, and later on like the Triforce of courage. So if you could only have one of them, what would it be? <laughs> what do you think? Knowledge, for sure. You took mine. Damn. Oh, shoot. No, I mean, you can, yeah, I, 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 I must be the best that. one, right? I mean, yeah. I think knowledge would be the best. Like, yeah. Also, courage would be pretty dope, too. Because, like, how many times has self-doubt, like, held you back? I don't know, but if you have all knowledge. All knowledge, you know. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> what you're saying is that you'd be a Banff guy. <laughs> Why? Because this gives you nootropics for the mind? Yeah, that was what I was going with. That was That was what I was trying to tie in, and then... I mean, the bucked up was going to be kind of a stretch because that's like the Triforce of Courage. And I was like, uh, yeah, bucked up can give you courage. Woke AF is obviously going to be the Triforce of Power. Yeah. Because. <clears throat> the strongest. It's definitely Most the strongest. Most stimulated. Yeah, you know. it's like insane stimulant. Yeah. So, I mean, since you took Triforce of Knowledge, do you want to give people a rundown on kind of why you would train with Banff? Sure. I know it's my favorite. This pre-workout from Bucked Up is known as BAMF, Brain and Muscle Fuel. Because Did you just come up with that? No, isn't that what it is? <laughs> I, I mean, I always thought it was something else, but yeah, Brain and Muscle Fuel, yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> so it's got nootropics to help you really focus on your workouts. And why I think, mind muscle connection. Yeah. yeah, and so why I think that's important, because you kind of zoned you in where you're just really focused. You know, you're there at the gym, there's a lot of distractions, but you're just in this zone. So. You know, like you said, the power, you know, you're just kind of skitsy all over the place working out with the yeah, world. Yeah, it's like, I consider you know. this one like, in a lot of video games, like there's like the barbarian class and I mean, in mythology as well, like, and they go into like berserk mode, right? Yeah. Like they just start raging, yeah. frothing at the mouth and just like unarmored killing people. Yeah, so that's That's that. what woke AF is like. Definitely, you know. <laughs> You know, and then the bucked up is great, but you know, it's, it's great for a lot of people who don't want the overstimulation, mm -hmm. but still want the benefits of blood flow, things like that. But yeah, I personally like this just because of that focus factor where I can concentrate more on my workouts. I seem to get more out of it just because I'm so zoned in, you know, so yeah, BAMF is my choice too. Yeah, um, interestingly, all three actually have the same base formula. Um, like, so the same foundational formula, you're going to have the six grams of citrulline for um, vasodilation, blood flow. It's kind of like what helps with the pump. Um, you also have like actogen and estrogen in all of them, which respectively improve citrulline absorption. Another one is the... What did I just drop blank right there? Beta alanine, which is in all the of these. Yeah. Alpha size. Alpha size for mental sharpness. Yeah. So all of them are gonna actually have some nootropics in them. Um, where they differ is in, one, the caffeine content in the bucked up is gonna be 200 milligrams, which is kind of what we say, like you might wanna start off with that if you like don't wanna become. Sensitive to caffeine or maybe yeah. you're working out later in the evening, you don't want It's really the best introductory of the yeah. three. Um, then the beta alanine in that one is 2.5 grams, whereas in the BAMP and the woke, it's 3.2. And then, so additionally, this one might- So work. what does beta alanine do? I know we have it in a lot of videos and- So it's the itch. I yeah. mean, it does more than that, right? Like it's a lactic acid buff buffer. It's been shown to increase um, VO2 max. 
um, delay time to exhaustion. It actually has been shown to increase cognitive function and function under time to stress. Oh, nice. Which is great since we're always all stressed. Um, yeah, and it's kind of some people. Do you like it? Bit alanine. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because I you know do a lot of reps. Yeah. So I'm always training a lot of volume. So anytime I feel mentally like, hey, I can keep going without my muscle shutting down, I'm all in. Yeah. I kind of like it as like a call to action too, because it's like, once those tingles start happening and my face is itching, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess it's time to go lift shit. Yeah, like, it makes you feel like, you know, you can like feel you it actually working. Yeah. You know, it's not like, is it, is it working yet? You can feel it working. <laughs> yeah. You're, you feel that your body's absorbed Did someone tell me this bunk pre-workout? <laughs> um, and then Woke AF is also gonna have the 300 mil, 333 milligrams of caffeine, as well as synephrine and dendrobium, which those are kind of like the holy trinity of stimulants. Um, so it's just not oversaturated with caffeine. It has two other stimulants that just uh -huh. boost that. Yeah. Are they the same yeah. family or how do they work compared to caffeine? They're a little bit different. They're gonna, one of them is actually, like they kind of mimic the effects of, what was that called? It was the thing that was in old Jack that kind of felt like you were on. I'm trying to think. Crack. It was like dimethyl three. three. Yeah, dimethyl <laughs> three. Yeah. It's like made to mimic that without being as insane. So you still have like clean energy. Um, so that's why a lot of people like it. For me, it's still just too much. I'm just you don't not take that the look that much, no. No, yeah. I I'm I'm a Banff guy. Yeah, like I'm ADHD. So give me that Hooperzine, which is good for like memory recall. It's been shown to actually reduce anxiety, um, as well as improve like learning. And then Hordenine is the other nootropic in the Banff, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I can even say this. It's like legal Adderall. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like I, I mean, it really. Helps it's like focus. it just it helps so much. Yeah. It makes everything more interesting, and like it's just like okay, these are my goals when I'm at the gym. I'm gonna do that. Nothing else matters. Yeah. Um, they're all great workouts. It's just. Yeah, Bamf just kind favorite. of what like, your pick is. I'm a is. Ravenclaw, so like, yeah. <laughs> of course I like the one that's all about nootropics. Yeah, so some people like the high stim, they're used to it, that's what they need. Uh -huh. But it is good, in my opinion, to kind of switch through them. Yeah, I agree. Kind of find what you like the best, and also after some time, maybe wean yourself off of it, go with maybe a lower stim, regular bucked up, or even our non-stim for some time, let your body reset, and then you know just keep cycling through these. These are definitely gonna help you have more effective workouts, in my opinion. Um, they're, they're, they're showing to increase endurance, strength. So it really helps mentally, physically. You're gonna have a lot better workout with pre-workouts, so. Yeah, agree, times 10. Yeah, so if you haven't Get tried down. any of these, you know, the BAMF, the Woke, maybe you're still working on the Bucked Up, the original, but you can go to buckedup.com and you can check out. We have tons of flavors, all sorts of flavors for everybody. Um, so many flavors. Yeah. yeah, but get them here right or here. here. Oh, over there. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Is it, is it, I don't know. Is it okay? That's good. I don't know. It explains it. I, I feel like, like I was all over the place on that. While, while you guys were talking about it, I was just like. Was, I think we covered everything. I'm just a camera guy. I don't know, but you would you tell us it sucked, right?